Hello everyone, this is Subifly here, and today I'm going to do a video uh, specifically used for the pen functionality. Um, I'm doing this video because of a request that uh, a friend has, and I think a YouTube member um, had requested or commented. Um, now, I, I use the pen mostly to point, um, to point at things where I don't have a mouse. Um, it's what I normally use this for, um, especially on a desktop. When you're in a desktop app, um, you know, a lot of those things are quite smaller um, due to the high resolution. Let's see. Uh -huh. So if we go to the main app, uh, a desktop app, there's a lot of things in the uh, lower right hand corner right here. Um, the icons are a lot more smaller so having if you you know if you have kind of fatty fingers um, getting to those things are a little difficult to do um, so I wanted to open up that so that works um, so I use this for that like covering over um, choosing the smallest things like for, it's like Bluetooth or my OneNote that I want to open um, I use it for that and that's really my main use as far as the desktop here um, I do use it when I'm surfing the internet um, where it requires for you to hover over um, uh, to get some additional information like for example if if I go to like um, newegg.com and I love their website buy a lot of stuff from them um, you know, I can't just hover over just to click, you know, like right there, for example, like, oop. So it took me right there. So I'm going to go back. And so, right, so that works. But when you, when you press that, see, it doesn't give you that option. You can hold it down. You can press down and see the option, but you can't keep it open for you for long enough for you to kind of navigate over and this is when it comes handy so if I just want to go ahead and, and hover over it right and then if I go to see ultra books then I can see all the additional options I can't do that with my finger so if you bought this surface pro without the keyboard right without this guy and you don't get the mouse pad that's gonna be a little bit difficult for you to be able to navigate to the website now luckily they come with a pen like this for you to do that uh, when you get the Surface Pro so you'll be able to navigate and see additional options right so um, that's a big pro and plus but a negative part of that is that if you lose this or if this is in your bag because obviously you can't always keep it here because either they fall off or you have this plugged into the wall because it's dying um, and you left this in your bag or you left it at home because it doesn't really have a good place for you to put it on that becomes a problem because now you're surfing websites um, that either uses Java um, you know it's not gonna work properly right because it's gonna rely on the hovering or the mouse and with your finger um, you don't have that capability hopefully down the road um, they'll be doing something similar like the Samsung Galaxy products where or the S4 I guess right where you can hover your your finger right above that, right above your screen, and you can use as your mouse. So hopefully, maybe that's where Microsoft is going uh, in the future. So we don't know yet. Um, again, going back, it's a pro and con, right? And on this guy, um, back to the desktop. Pro use this for your mouse versus your mouse pad because I don't, you know, the mouse pad is too small for me to use. At the same time, you always have to have this beside you as much as you can um, which it is at my desk in my office I have this with me pretty much either my, the left hand side of it or right hand side um, but if I lose this it becomes a problem so I take I take a lot of notes uh, especially when I join a lot of meetings uh, one of the things that I believe that the Surface Pro is a great tool for business users is because when you're in a note uh, taking notes and if you have a separate tablet, what happens is either you sync it with your Google Docs or uh, or your uh, iCloud, right? And then, but when you go to your desktop, then that means you gotta somehow uh, export that or email it from your tablet 
or your iPad and email it to yourself so you can get the notes. In here, with the OneNote, it's free, right? You get it for free. Um, you can just take the notes here. So, this is just a test. So that's your quick note, right? So I, I love the fact that I can use that. And uh, again, it's pressure sensitive, right? So you can do light like that, and you can get pretty dark, right? So it's a great tool. Um, I, I, I really enjoy that. Um, I also have one note. That's a one note. Let's see if I can find it. Did I just pass it? Oh yeah. So which opens the full note, um, open uh, full note besides instead of the, you know, small notes that you pick up on your desktop. So um, let's see my general. Let's see quick notes. My first notes. Oh, let's see. Let's do a new page. Okay, that's it's it's really neat. I, I really like it. It's quite responsive. Um, at times, though, for some reason, it doesn't calibrate properly. Um, so you probably probably want to calibrate this, um, and you can find that on your. Um, I believe it's under your settings, or you can type in. Uh, I think it's under pen calibration, or it's. Let's see. Uh, search, settings, pen and touch. Or calibrate right here. Calibrate the screen for pen and touch input. So I just typed in pen. It gives you all the options for for that. Okay. Um, now going back to the OneNote, and it's a great tool to use, even if you don't have the full Office product. This is absolutely free. Go ahead and download it. It's a great tool for it, uh, for notes. Um, a little tool here to get additional pens and different colors, erasers. So it's pretty quite you know simple application. Um, for notes, but um, I like the idea of you know changing different tabs here um, and then within that tabs different pages. So I like it. Um, I use it quite often, as you can see, right? So anyway, so that's a this is a a a, a perfect app for this pen to use. Okay. The uh, the non-professional um, other applications that I like and I enjoy and I find this very useful. Um, you can you can do it in a Photoshop Express. Fresh Paint is what I use with uh, with my kids to keep, kind of keep them entertained. And again, another pro in having a Surface Pro um, is the fact that I can use this not only for work but also my kids can enjoy it, right? So I can separate them or create in my own account or create a separate account just for the kids and limiting their applications. Um, so, for example, let's take take a look at this painting um, that they that they did. So it's a brush. So depending on how hard you press the brush, right? Let's hide that. Right, it's you can do it lightly, as you can see. And then you can get dark by pressing harder and light, and dark, light, dark, light. So it's amazing. I, I love the fact that it's pressure sensitive. Um, you can do different brushes, and the, the brush depending on the brushes you choose, it actually reacts how you normally would use a paintbrush right see how like I kinda do it sideways just like a paintbrush and let's do a bigger paintbrush here see it's more spread out because that's how the brush would react right if you press harder you get the full paintbrush let's erase all that it's clear See that? Then I press harder. Oop, you guys can't see that screen, I'm sorry. Right? So if I press harder, you get that then you're you're kinda of pressing down pressing down your, your brush. 
So this is a great tool to kind of keep your kids entertained. Um, you got your pen uh, or stencil, is that what they call them? So again, it still reacts to the lightness and then you can get dark but depending on the pressure. So that's a good, good tool. Make sure you download that. Um, um, you know, uh, it's for your kids or for yourself maybe even um, if you're into that kind of thing. So this is a great uh, product for those that love to sketch all the time. And speaking of sketches, um, the Autodesk uh, Sketchbook Express is a great and phenomenal application that I've used. Uh, I just traveled down to Arizona with my family and I was in the uh, plane for like two and a half hours to Arizona from Seattle to Arizona and um, and I, I was bored right so I, I didn't have a bunch of games I just have a few and, and, and eventually you get tired of the games and uh, if you here I'll show you one of the things that I've, I've done in the beginning so I did this and I'm nowhere near um, an artist whatsoever so this is my first painting since I was maybe 13 years old so as you can see the way it works is that you know you, you got all your sets of tools in here you know your your I think I use the the uh, spray can or whatever and then the pencil and eraser and things like that and then start doing the coloring and shading and then depending on your pressure that you use it gets darker etc etc and it kind of dabbled and you know kind of killed time and I was able to put that thing together so as you can see um, uh, you can do symmetrical too so I did this so um, if you want the same length and evenness for one side over the other you can use symmetrical so you just have to draw one side and it will uh, cover that so maybe I can give you guys an example how that works rather than showing you my painting right start sketching uh, oh new there you go so here's your options right right you swipe up or swipe down from here and give you those uh, extra menus and I'm gonna do s symmetry uh, Y and you can do symmetry X as well so just for this example let's get the pen pencil um, I can just draw one side and you get the same effect right so on, on the other side so yeah, let's do a paintbrush a paintbrush I really like or not paintbrush the spray because depending on how hard depending on how hard you you spray or press down it gets darker and so you can get that nice effect so it's pretty cool um, I really like it. I enjoy this one. Um, it's nice for uh, for those that sketches that puts together like maybe you know draw a car. Um, you know it's still limited um, as far as what I heard. Still limited as far as the tools. However, you can go ahead and uh, I'm not going to save that. You can get the pro. Um, you just get more. It looks like you get more colors and things like that. 300 more colors. Um, I don't see what else you get so you get expanded brushes um, see the examples that people have done uh, paint brushes uh, someone did a sketch on that that's pretty impressive um, here's another one right here so you get a, like layers right so you get a great set of tools I, I don't know on top of my head um, how much it is to buy off the, from the store but these are the tools that I would use this pen for and so far those are the only ones I've found that are quite helpful and more fun and actually showcases the, um, the sensitivity of the pen and how well it works. Um, I have a uh, my sister-in-law's um, fiance uh, does a lot of sketching and he just bought himself an iPad. You know mind you they are an, an impressive product um, but if he, you know he does a lot of sketches I actually recommended him to get this one. It's a lot more money but he does it for a living and I told him that this is a great way a great one to get even if you get um, you know 64 gig for lowering cost but there's it's not a smart thing to do for a hundred dollars more is twice the storage I think Japan is getting the 256 gig SSD um, I would love to see that come into the US um, where you get more storage so in a anyways um, 
he does uh, sketching and I actually recommended this product so he can use the uh, Sketchbook Express using the, um, the, the phenomenal pen uh, in, in its sensitivity so as far as the pen goes um, I love it, I enjoy it, I do, I do not like the fact that the, the way they are designed um, where you can't put them anywhere else, it's taking up space for your charger in the right hand side um, it doesn't scroll like this, just not like it's not the same as what you would see on an Android tablet, right? Or or iPad. Um, it really acts more like a mouse. Okay. Um, oh, one more thing that I was having a difficult time with this. So I I guess I'm gonna end with the bad news um, with this is that if you okay, I'm trying to get to this. Um, I have an application here called Password Safe. It's an impressive product. Uh, you guys check it out. It holds all your password. Okay. So let's go ahead and check uh, and do a right click on this guy right here. My password safe. If I right click right, no safe open. Um, I'm back in the click restore. So it opens right. So I'm not sure if this is a pen issue or it could be um, the application issue. If I do a right click on here and let's see, open side note. So that opens. But I have an application here my VPN and I right click hit connect I can't no matter what I do so I'm gonna, let me close this so you guys can see right click like connect nope status nope properties nope so especially if it's a program that I use quite often it's, <laughs> that's my VPN right um, I it's not fun for me because then I, that means I have to pull out if I have this in my bag somewhere I gotta take this out and so I can use the mouse and connect to my VPN by right clicking um, you know I, I can go to the main all programs and or from the start menu and open it from there but if you're trying to access you know kinda sh quick shortcuts um, help see I can make this one's a Citrix application preferences so it's it's not happening to every program out there but that that gets pretty annoying even if I use my my finger yeah so I'm not sure if that's a bug but it's supposed to act right so it's supposed to act your hold it down it's supposed to act as a right right click and then be able to choose it by tapping obviously it's not um, responding to that so I'm not sure if it's just in this area um, let's see let's take a look at this one snipping tool see I can open that these ones have no problems it's just in this area right here uh, tends to have a problem so other than that I've, I've enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you want me to try out certain things or any application you guys could suggest comments um, tips, tricks, um, you know, hate messages, good messages, say hi, um, let me know and I would, I would test it out. I am coming up on my three weeks, I just did my two week review, um, so keep an eye on my one month and see how it works, but let me just give you a quick preview. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, not focusing very well, is that I? it's actually starting to create some scratch marks in this area right here. Uh, on in the edges uh, I'm just hoping you guys can see that I think you guys can so right here it starts it's starting to you know cause some major wear and tear and I haven't even had this thing for a month so um, it's just for the matter of going plug it in here I'm plugging it plug it in here I'm plugging it but even then I usually have this sitting in the side of my desk so I only have this in here from you know from time to time so that is all I have. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know. Look, at, look, look out for the next video of my one month use, and I will tell you the quick lowdown. Um, you know, if it's if it's gonna be a go for me and and uh, or not. Um, so again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.